So before you have your client hop on the bike, there's a couple things you want to look out for in terms of setup. One is adjusting the seat height according to the client's height, okay? So good marker you want to look out for is to align the seat height with their iliac crest, okay? So right at the top of my iliac, I'm going to align that seat height. So as you can see, this one is a little low. So how you can adjust that, there's a knob on the side. All you do is turn that towards you. It takes a little bit, you have to physically pull it out. And then you can adjust it up to the next knob or down, whatever you need. And then you have to twist it back in. Okay, another thing you look out for is you'll have the client hop on. Once they're on the seat, you'll look to see if there's about a five to 10 degree bend in their knee. Okay, when their leg is straight down. Cool. Biggest thing though, is to make sure the client is comfortable. So if they hop on and they're really uncomfortable, throw those things out the window and just adjust accordingly so that they're comfortable for exercise. Okay. So if we go back and we look at our cycle ergometer protocol, you can see that that table has your stage, the time, and then it says watts. Okay, so that watts is the intensity that we're working at. But what does that even mean? How do we adjust it according to the watts? Okay, so if watts is our overall intensity, we have to know what to manipulate in order to create that intensity. So this is a, an equation. You, we have to know what watts breaks down to. Um, so this is the equation, and then I'll put up a picture on Blackboard too. But something I want you to write down is watts equals kg times cadence, okay? So if you think of a mountain bike or, or a regular bike that has gears that you use to ride around your neighborhood, what you can do in order to make yourself faster, you can either, either pedal more, that's your cadence, um, that unit is always in RPMs, revolutions per minute, or you can, you can go fast or you can adjust the gear so that there's more resistance, right? So you can pedal slower, but that there's more resistance, so you're still going at the same intensity, okay? So those are the two things that we can adjust for watts. What we found is that keeping someone consistent at a, at a cadence and then just adjusting um, kg throughout the stages is probably the easiest part. So you can go whatever cadence you want, um, and you can plug it into that e equation and then figure out kg from there. As so you can see, men and women both have different watts, so make, make sure you're looking out for that when you plug that into your equation. Um, but typically, a comfortable pace is around like 60 to 70 RPMs for the client. Um, so you can test it out, do it accordingly. You can pick whatever cadence you want and then just adjust the kg from there. So before you have them hop on the bike, I would recommend you do those calculations first so you know exactly um, just what you have to manipulate it to to go to the next stage, okay? And the way you will do that, oh, I also want to mention too, you can adjust these handlebars if it's uncomfortable for the client. So there's a little handle at the top here that you can move, and then these will adjust up and down depending on what they need. All right, in terms of looking out for cadence and kg, your resistance, the client will actually hop on the bike and once they start pedaling this little screen at the top of the bike will turn on okay there's a lot of units on there um, you have your time you have speed diff, uh, distance heart rate if you have a heart rate monitor hooked up but the thing we're really looking out for on this screen is your rpms okay you can see your cadence and that's right at the top of the screen that's where you'll see your rpms so once your client is going at the pace they wanna be at, you will actually, and remember they have to be pedaling for this to work, but you will actually then turn this knob right underneath the handlebars. And you can see, here I'll move it a little bit. You can see on here, if they're actually pedaling and, pedaling and you're turning this, then this will move on a pendulum and that'll increase the resistance for them. Okay, so make sure they're actually pedaling when you're um, moving this. And that'll tell you, that's how you adjust the KP for each stage, okay? 
And I'm saying KP and KG interchangeably, those both mean the same thing in terms of this lab, okay? So on future labs, you might see KP instead of KG. Those mean the same things, it's just your resistance. Okay, um, do we have anything else for cycle ergometer? Yes, one last thing um, that I didn't mention. So yes, we're taking heart rate and blood pressure um, at the end of each stage. We're also, we're also taking one more measurement. Um, it's listed on the table on your lab. That's RPE, okay? So RPE is rate of perceived exertion. So basically, that's just a subjective measure of how the client's feeling, okay? So it's just another way we can observe how the client's doing. So we have our object, objective measures, like what's happening physiologically, our heart rate and blood pressure, and then we have RPE, which is subjective, okay? So with that, that's on a scale from six to 20, okay? And you'll find a little um, display right on this bike. It says Borg's RPE scale, and then it has a six to 20, and it shows you what each one is. Six is no exertion at all, then it goes up a little bit from there. Extremely light, very light, hard, um, maximal effort is 20, okay? So at the end of each stage, along with taking heart rate and blood pressure, you will ask the client, how are you feeling? And they will look at this chart and they'll tell you for each stage, okay?